It is day 146. And I think Mocha is pretty close. Mm. Hi. She's been squatting and it seems like she wants to pee, but she doesn't. She sits by the gate over there and she looks at me very pitifully. You want me to check your ligaments too? Oh, you're not having babies anytime soon. I'm sorry. I am sorry, Rox. No baby for you. You want to be checked too, Duke? I can check you. Okay, come here. Okay, so we'll check the back. Oh, no. Everything is okay. You're not having babies anytime soon. I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry, no babies for you. I'm sorry. Mm. You're my baby. You're my boy. I think that when she's having some kind of pain so she looks miserable for a while and then she goes back and she starts eating can you see how hollow she is today that's her right side <laughs> and the boys the boys want me to check them for ligaments because they want to have babies oh she doesn't look like it's all bugged up even though she does have an adder mm, I don't see any discharge and they're barely there the ligaments are barely there so she's so used to me feeling her baby, she doesn't fight it anymore. <laughs> it is getting tighter. Baby side. But if I press, I think I just feel them not because they're moving, but because, you know, they're big. And once you push in, you can kind of feel something that you know it's not an organ. You're okay. I'm sorry. Mm, still there. It's your turn. Hi, Mama. Hi. I just came here to check. Mm, squishy. Soft. Let me see your other. Mm, I mean doesn't look fuller than yesterday and there's no discharge let me feel for babies oh there's a baby for sure but I don't feel movement you're a good girl Annie you're a good good girl come and check on you in a couple hours, okay? Yell at me if you need me. Like, really need me. You got your pets? Now go eat. So you're strong. Okay? Okay. See you in a couple hours. So while we wait for the girls to be ready, I'm gonna work on the duck pen. This duck pen needs a lot of work. So I'm gonna start working on it. I need to do weeding. And I'm also gonna start my fall garden, which I'm gonna start right now because it will need the sun to get going. And if you plant it later, at least where I am, it's just not gonna work. So 
Um, I just changed the duck's water, but it looks mucky as if I didn't. I change it several times a day. So I'm gonna try to get some things done around here. And Annabelle cannot conceive the idea that there is anything more interesting than her pregnancy and babies. So she's gonna creep there and she's gonna try to call me so I can pay attention. She also likes to be there because Bum Bum's there and for whatever reason she loves to be around him. And here are the ducks. Uh, I mean, five minutes ago they had clean water. I change it two, three times a day. I have that wheelbarrow full of water and I just come with a bucket and change it. And every time I change it, they go into it like, oh, thankfully. But it's them. They go inside, they poop in it, they just look for bugs and then they put their bills inside of mud but I'm happy to report that they are finally bonding and I think they're gonna try to hatch some babies and so this is inside the duck house I need to finish the sides with that sheet of plywood to the top and then I will do some plastic sheeting on top for the winter. I also have to do that on the roof, but I had quite a few, I don't know if you remember, I had quite a few of those boxes that I got from a farm and I made them into some nesting boxes to give them some privacy. I kind of put them separated, but then I decided to give them a little bit more privacy and put it on top. But they are trying to hatch some eggs um, they're not laying on it because I think they're just collecting them right now there's one two three four five six seven eight I think three four five six seven eight so there's eight so I'm gonna let it cover like that Ducks are supposed to lay on it as soon as they're done collecting as many eggs as they think it's good for hatching. So, and this idea of using the frames that I've been using for all kinds of things in making this house out of those frames, including this one, this is a frame, but this is chicken wire. So that's why I think I'm gonna cover it. But I'm gonna leave the front, well, the front that is there and the back not covered because really it does not stink in here. And if you ever, you know, had any dogs, you know how much, you know how much they can stick up the place. And I've been doing the same thing as I've been doing with the goats. Just a deep uh, litter, I think that's what it's called. Every morning I add a little bit more of pine shavings or something and over there I'm gonna bring another box of those so if they want to do another nest over there they can. I don't know if we still have time for them to hatch them. I don't know if they're even gonna hatch them but I'm gonna try to help them as much as I can. Here is my hot bed that is empty. Remember I had lettuce and broccoli here. Well, that's done, so I'm gonna put more soil on top and kind of recycling what I have, and that way I can start something. These were all pots with either transplants and stuff that is not here anymore. So, this way I kind of recycle the potting, potting soil that I used for a little while and then at the same time I am kind of getting rid of this pots just storing them, storing them for next time I need them I think it's pretty even here. 
Just did this corner, I need to do the center, and then do this other part. I'm gonna get rid of those weeds, and we'll see how it looks in the end. I also have a mole that is making piles. Let me show you. Piles like this one. So I grab one of those trays and I am picking up everything that the mole is bringing up and using it as a base for the rest. As you can see, the deep mulch is creating this wonderful soil. And I think it'd be great. I've used it over there where my flower garden is. And I never, you know, seen any weeds or anything crazy from it. So let's hope that that's what it is. And then the weeds, all the weeds that I'm gonna pull out today, I'm gonna put them in this. This is going to be a future garden bed. But you see, all that were weeds that I'm just drying there. Just leave them there, they dry, and then I put more on top, and it's kind of composting that. Thank you, Mr. Mole, you made my life so much easier.